Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Would you have the clerk report House Committee Sub 1, please? Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 121. Lady from Whitley. Move adoption. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. Lady from Whitley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 121 simply requires that the boards of education offer a minimum of 15 minutes for individuals to sign up to share their concerns or offer their support and confirmation of the board's action. Many boards already welcome public input, and those that are already doing so can continue to do so just as they are now as long as they have at least 15 minutes. However, there have been some districts that have closed the door to the public. Since filing the bill, I've heard from several individuals of varying districts um, that reach out to share the experience of being denied the opportunity to speak. This simply ensures that the board is available for at least 15 minutes. Access to Board of Education is limited, therefore accessibility is limited for conversation. I have spoken with several board members and they have shared that they prefer to be addressed collectively as a board. This bill simply ensures that opportunity while giving the public the opportunity to sign up to speak on issues. The board can allow more than 15 minutes. That is totally up to them. You know, in our committee meetings, we offer the opportunity for individuals to sign up to speak, and we have office hours. And listening to our concerns of those we represent is important. Um, security of the boards were mentioned in committee and the opportunity to keep the public out should there be security concerns. I think the opportunity to speak without being locked out will go a long way and make it a more peaceful situation. I also offer a lot of uh, the outrage is the result of being denied the opportunity to voice concerns. Some boards, if they feel the opportunity is warranted, might have their SROs attend the meeting. Those are the same SROs that are in the most districts protecting our most valuable students and our staff. I would uh, be much more concerned regarding that group than I would the Board of Education. And our SROs are invaluable resources and assets and they're used in a lot of ways across a continuum of needs uh, from basketball to Board of Education meetings. Again, I think knowing that they have the opportunity to be heard and that their elected me members are ready to listen to their concerns will create a peaceful environment. KSBA did not come out against this bill and I haven't received any contacts from any board members or any superintendents regarding their concerns with this measure. Uh, the committee sub simply clarifies that there, uh, should there not be anyone that signed up to speak, the board will not be required to await the 15 minutes of public input uh, time frame, and they can go ahead and adjourn. If there aren't any questions, I move for adoption of House Bill 121 as amended by House Committee Sub 1.